I, Charlotte Page, of sound mind and body, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, starting now. That is how Josh broke into the third story floor of the house and played chimes until 3 o'clock in the morning. Nice job. So what actually happened? Oh, well, most of it is true. He just wasn't chasing the CPS for a touring party. Don't give me that look, Scott. Look, no one in this campus has said anything remotely interesting for me to write about. Plus, I need to get... I know, to get a full ride to Brown for your master's. You're the first in your family to go to college. And your parents can't afford the tuition. I know, Shar, I get it. But aren't you afraid that you're going to get caught? And more important, isn't forgery some oh. violation of journalistic ethics? Look, Scott, I know that what I'm doing is wrong. I know that. And this is only temporary. I just need a good story to impress the Brown Admissions Office, and I'll stop after that. I promise. Plus, it's not like I'm hurting anyone. No one cares. No one in this campus even reads the print newspaper anymore. Fine. It is your decision. But I am telling you, somebody is going to find out. These things have a way of getting out, you know? Well, I see no other way. Fine. I won't bother about it again. Are you at least coming over tonight? Yes. I just need to finish this article. All right. Bye. Bye. Don't embellish, please. Shoot. Hey, I'm so sorry. What's wrong? I just came out to my dad. Oh my god. You finally did it. What did he say? At first he said he didn't believe me. said that he could not support this kind of lifestyle choice. He said I shouldn't come home until I'm over this phase. Oh, I thought I knew he'd be mad. I didn't think he'd kick me out. Oh, I had this fantasy that he already knew and that he was just waiting for me to tell him. Hey, it's going to be okay. I'll get around. Give him some time. I just want to go to sleep. Okay. I'll let you rest. Hey, I love you. You know that, right? Well, Charlotte, your stories get better and better every week. You've certainly set a high bar for the rest of our staff. How do you do it? Oh, you know, I just interview people around campus. Most people have an interesting story if you can get them to open up. Yeah, I guess I was just wondering if all of these stories are completely true. Take this one, for example. You said that this girl, Sam, witnessed a shootout and almost got shot while trying to drive away. Can anyone corroborate the story? Unfortunately, uh, it happened in a deserted area, so there were no witnesses. Um, but I can assure you that I interview my sources very carefully. Most people tend to dramatize when storytelling, but you said so yourself, um, that I have more leeway when writing for a column, right? That's true, but we still strive to tell our readers the truest version of the story. I understand that. And I would never compromise that. Well, okay then, I trust you. Mm. Other than that, keep up the good work. Oh, also, I need you to fill in for Josh this week. He's sick. Could you have a draft for me by Friday at midnight? But it's Wednesday. I know, it's short notice, but we need to go into print by Monday. <laughs>
damn it, Greg. Charlotte, finally, I've been trying to get a hold of you all morning. I posted your articles online last night and my phone's been ringing off the hook. People are saying you forged their story, Charlotte. Is this true? Charlotte? Yes, it's true. But there's no but, Charlotte. We're a new publication on campus. We can't afford to make mistakes like this. Last night, I finally got our new website to work. I was going to congratulate you this morning on your call of making it online. Imagine my surprise when I get 15 phone calls telling me you forged your way through every single article. I'm so sorry. Yeah, well, I think it's too late for that, Charlotte. I have to remove you from the staff. Your articles will be retracted by the end of the day. Charlotte, why haven't you answered any of my calls? You're all over Facebook. I know, I know. Scott, what do I do? My editor just fired me and people are sending me hate mail and death threats. I don't, I don't think there's anything you can do except apologize. Right. Speaking of apologies, I owe you. Excuse me, are you Charlotte Page? Yes. Um, I just wanted to say thank you for writing my coming out story the other day. I'm, I'm thinking about coming out to my own parents, but I'm afraid that they're going to react the way that Scott's dad did. Um, but it's just nice reading about somebody else going through the same thing, so thank you. Scott. Scott. Scott, I'm sorry. I wouldn't have if I wasn't so desperate. So desperate? Desperate enough to screw me over? I told that story to my best friend, not some wannabe journalist. We're done, Charlotte. I, Charlotte Page, of sound mind and body, swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, starting now. Every story I've written for news around cues has been a half-truth. I added details, characters, and events to make these stories more compelling. So here you are reading about how Sam Green survived a shootout and how Jake Braverman was chased by DPS. In trying to get the best stories, I betrayed the trust of my readers, my editor, my sources, and most of all, my best friend. My actions were inexcusable, and I am deeply sorry if I hurt anyone. I hope that you can forgive me. So here I am, broadcasting my confession for the whole world to see, even the Brown and Mischief's office. Hey, Frank.